In 2025, the YouTubers with the most views won't be the ones with the best videos, they'll be the ones using the best thumbnails, and they won't be made in Photoshop or Canva, because there's a new way of making thumbnails that's changing the game for YouTubers. But here's what's surprising, it's not about having better design skills or spending more time on your thumbnails. In fact, the creators getting the most views are spending less than 5 minutes on thumbnails that outperform ones that took hours to make. And they're doing it without any design experience at all. I discovered this after wasting countless hours in Photoshop and spending hundreds of dollars on designers. Nothing consistently delivered results until I found this new way of making thumbnails that completely changed my results. Today, I'm going to show you the absolute best way to make YouTube thumbnails that actually get clicks. A method that's helped regular creators increase their CTR to over 12%, even when they have zero design skills. For those who don't know me, my name is Yuri and I've been creating content on YouTube for years. And during my time of growing four channels to over 100,000 subscribers each, one thing I've learned is that if people don't click, they don't watch. It's that simple. And let's be honest about the real cause for this that most YouTubers face. They pour their heart and soul into making great videos. They learn video editing, improve their presentation skills, invest in equipment, but then they throw together a quick thumbnail in the last 10 minutes before uploading or just use a random screenshot from their video thinking that will go viral. And even if they did design a thumbnail on time, these are the most common thumbnail mistakes I see YouTubers make. Using way too much text, thumbnails that are too busy and confusing, poor color contrast that doesn't pop in the feed, faces that are too small or unclear, or these horrible generic stock photos that look like everyone else's. And let me show you what this is actually costing you. The average YouTube thumbnail CTR is around 3 to 4%, but creators with optimized thumbnails can consistently hit 8 to 9% or higher. Let's say you have 10,000 impressions. At 3% CTR, that's 300 views, but at 9% CTR, it's 900 views. That's three times more people watching the exact same video. Now multiply that by every video on your channel, week after week, month after month. This isn't just about views. It's about all the subscribers you're not getting, the comments you're not receiving, the community you're not building, the opportunities you're missing. And let's be real, it's also about the money you're not making. I know how frustrating this feels. You put in all this work, and it feels like nobody's seeing it. You start wondering if your content just isn't good enough, when the real problem is that people aren't even clicking to find out. And so, it's time to change that. Let's break down all the different ways you can create thumbnails today, and see which one actually makes the most sense for YouTubers who want results without wasting time. For that, I've created what I call the thumbnail matrix to help you analyze the best options. First, difficulty. How hard is it to learn and master this method? Second, time investment. How many minutes or hours does each thumbnail take? Third, cost effectiveness. What's the real price you pay per thumbnail? Fourth, quality of results. How professional do the thumbnails look if you're not a designer? And fifth, click-through rate, which is the ultimate measure. Will people actually click on the thumbnail? Now, we're gonna compare five different approaches. DIY screenshots, which are these raw thumbnails that seem to perform well lately. And then Canva, Photoshop, hiring a designer, and AI thumbnail generation and I'm gonna compare them based on what will allow you to make the best thumbnails in the easiest way possible. Let's see how each method scores across our five critical factors. Let's start with DIY screenshots. When it comes to difficulty, taking screenshots is very easy. Anyone can do it. You just press a button on your keyboard, maybe crop it a bit and you're done. There's virtually no learning curve here. For time investment, it's extremely quick and can be done in less than 10 minutes. Taking a screenshot of a moment in your video takes just a second, but keep in mind you have to go through your whole video to find the best moment to screenshot. Looking at cost effectiveness, screenshots are free, which is great for your wallet, but the hidden cost is in performance, which I'll get to in a bit. The quality of results is medium at best, but usually on the low side. Screenshots lack a visual hook and emotional triggers. Viewers can spot a screenshot thumbnail instantly and often associate them with low quality content. Then click through rate, which is the most important. Many people have been saying lately that raw thumbnails are the new winning strategy, but this couldn't be more wrong, especially for new creators. These raw screenshots only work if you have something truly eye-catching to show. For example, this raw thumbnail and title combination by William only works because he has an interesting setup, background, and is wearing a $100,000 golden Rolex. What do you think would have happened if he used this screenshot of his video as the thumbnail? Let me tell you, the video would have flopped. And so, because the chances of having an interesting frame in your video are low, the likely CTR you'll achieve with screenshots 
is extremely low, typically one to 2%. Screenshots simply don't trigger curiosity or emotional response that's needed. Let's look at Canva. For difficulty, Canva is moderate. They've done a great job making design more accessible to non-designers with their drag and drop interface and templates. But you still need to understand basic design principles to create something that doesn't look generic. The time investment is significant. Even with templates, you're looking at 30 to 45 minutes minimum to create something decent. And that's if you already know what you're doing. Most creators report spending one to two hours tweaking colors fonts and layouts, trying to get something that actually looks good. And so if you want to create multiple options to choose from, like I always do, you're spending quite some hours here. For cost effectiveness, Canva is affordable. At $12 a month for pro, the subscription isn't expensive. The quality of results for non-designers is decent, but template looking. You're also limited by your own design skills, which for most creators means your thumbnails look decent, but not great. The likely CTR you'll achieve with Canva is slightly below average, usually in the two to 4% range. That's better than screenshots, but still far below what top channels achieve. You're leaving 50 to 75% of your potential views on the table compared to optimized thumbnails. Now let's examine Photoshop. When it comes to difficulty, Photoshop is extremely difficult. Most people need months of consistent practice just to become competent, let alone good. The time investment is extremely intensive Professional designers spend at least one to two hours on a single thumbnail, and they already know what they're doing. For the average creator, it can be hours of frustration, tutorials, and trial and error. When you're trying to maintain a consistent upload schedule, this time investment becomes completely unsustainable, especially when wanting multiple options to choose from. Looking at cost effectiveness, Photoshop is fairly priced. The $24 per month subscription is just the beginning. The real cost is in the hundreds of hours needed to become proficient plus the one to two hours per thumbnail. If you value your time at even $20 an hour, each thumbnail effectively costs you $20 to $40 in time alone. That adds up quickly when you're creating multiple videos per week. The quality of results if you're highly skilled in Photoshop is very high, but that's only if you're actually good at it. If you're not, your Photoshop thumbnails will likely look worse than what you could create in Canva. The tool has incredible potential, but that potential is locked behind a massive skill barrier that most content creators simply don't have time to overcome. The likely CTR you can achieve with Photoshop is high if you're skilled. In the hands of someone who really knows what they're doing, Photoshop can create thumbnails that perform well. The problem is that very few creators have both the Photoshop skills and the understanding of YouTube psychology needed to reach high click-through rates consistently. Let's talk about hiring designers. For difficulty, it's moderately difficult. While you don't need design skills yourself, you do need to become skilled at briefing designers. Ask any freelancer how many revisions they typically do. It's usually three to five rounds because clients struggle to communicate what they want. Plus you're dependent on someone else's schedule and availability. Time-wise, the turnaround depends on who you hire. While it might only take you 10 minutes to send a brief, you're then waiting 24 to 72 hours for delivery. The back and forth communication alone can eat up hours of your week. For cost effectiveness, hiring designers is kind of expensive at 20 to $100 per thumbnail and good designers actually charge on the higher end. It gets expensive fast. A channel publishing three videos per week could easily spend more than $1,000 a month just on thumbnails. For most creators, this simply isn't sustainable, especially when you're still building your revenue. The quality of results is good, but potentially inconsistent. Good designers can create high quality thumbnails, but there's a catch, which is consistency. Different designers have different styles, and even the same designer might deliver varying quality depending on their workload that week or understanding of your brief. This inconsistency could hurt your channel's brand identity. The likely CTR you'll achieve with hired designers is high, giving you hired an expert. Good designers who understand YouTube can create thumbnails that perform very well, so that's good. Finally, let's look at AI thumbnail generation. For difficulty, it's effortless. With AI, you simply describe what you want or provide reference examples. The AI handles everything else. There's no learning curve. If you can type a sentence, you can create professional thumbnails immediately. I've seen complete beginners create amazing thumbnails in their first 60 seconds using AI technology. The time investment is low. You can go from idea to finish thumbnail in 30 seconds. And that's not an exaggeration. The average AI thumbnail is created in under a minute and that's for every thumbnail concept over and over again. When you need to test multiple variations or create thumbnails for several videos at once, this speed is game changing. For cost effectiveness, AI is incredibly cost effective. 
with AI thumbnail tools, the cost per thumbnail is less than a dollar. The results are professional quality every single time. AI consistently produces thumbnails that look like they were created by professional designers who understand YouTube. That's because the technology has been trained on millions of high-performing thumbnails and understands what elements make people click. The likely CTR you'll achieve with AI is high, as the design will look amazing, the color schemes are great, and the possibilities for things to create are endless. Just like a school report card makes it obvious who's at the top of the class, these scores make AI thumbnail generation the clear winner here. But I want to be completely transparent here. I'm not just saying this because I believe in AI. The reason AI scores so highly across all these categories is because it was specifically designed to solve the exact problems that make other thumbnail methods fail. AI is built to analyze what actually drives clicks on YouTube not what makes designers happy. If you care about creating thumbnails quickly, easily, and with the highest possible CTR, there's really only one logical choice here. But here's where most people get confused. They look at this report card and think, this seems too good to be true. How can something be both the easiest and get the best results? The answer is simple. AI isn't just another design tool. It's built on pattern recognition technology that analyzes millions of successful YouTube thumbnails to understand exactly what makes people click and is then able to design it for you. So while you're spending less time and effort, you're actually leveraging years of data analysis and pattern recognition that other methods simply don't have access to. Now, not all AI thumbnail generators are created equal. Most generic AI tools like Midjourney or Dolly weren't built specifically for YouTube thumbnails. They don't understand these psychological triggers that make people click, and they weren't trained on what actually works on YouTube. This is why I spent months testing every AI thumbnail tool on the market. I was looking for something that combined the ease of AI with a deep understanding of what actually drives YouTube clicks. After trying dozens of options, I found one clear winner, Pixels. What makes Pixels different is that it wasn't created by AI engineers who just want to make money. It was built by YouTubers who understand exactly what drives clicks and views. While other AI tools can make pretty images, Pixels is the only one specifically made to create thumbnails that actually get clicked. Let me show you how it works. There are two main ways to create thumbnails with Pixels. First, there's the recreate feature, which is absolutely game changing. You simply take a URL from any successful YouTube thumbnail, paste it in, and Pixels will create a new thumbnail inspired by that design. You can choose how closely you want it to match the original with low, medium, or high inspiration weights. This is perfect for modeling after thumbnails that are already proven to work in your niche. And no, this isn't about copying or stealing other people's thumbnails. It's about using winning formats to get more views. The top YouTubers all do this and it's why they win. Mr. Beast modeled this thumbnail after this video that went viral before him. On top of that, there's the persona feature. This lets you upload 10 images of your face and then pixels can put you into any thumbnail with any expression you want. And by the way, you can add a persona of anyone, including people like Cristiano Ronaldo, Speed, or any other celebrity. The fact you can do this means no more awkward selfies or struggling to get the right facial expression. You can be shocked, excited, confused, whatever emotion works best for your thumbnail. And unlike other AI tools where faces look weird or unnatural, Pixels uses your actual face, not some strange AI interpretation of it. The results look completely natural because it's actually you with different expressions. And second, there's the text to thumbnail feature where you simply describe what you want and Pixels creates it. For example, you can type in a skeleton with a melting brain, dripping green slime, holding a smartphone, and the text on the left side says brain rot in a neon glitching style and it then creates this amazing thumbnail in 30 seconds. You can then edit anything about your thumbnail with just a prompt. If you don't like something, you can just tell Pixels what to change and it changes it in seconds. For example, turn this green slime into red slime and it does that perfectly in one take. And you can also do this with a persona. So I can do a very specific prompt like this, a close-up shot of Yuri swimming underwater while a shark is right behind him. He looks scared into the camera and wears diving equipment and it will make this beautiful thumbnail with me on it. Then I can edit it and tell it to add more sharks. And as you can see, it does that perfectly. And now you see why AI thumbnails are completely changing the game for YouTube creators. It makes it possible for anyone to make professional thumbnails, regardless of your design skills or budget. But does this actually get views? Well, let me show you some real results from real creators, including myself. These thumbnails were all created with pixels and they've helped videos get millions of views. The thumbnail clarity, the color schemes, the professional quality, all created in minutes without any design skills. Here's one of my own videos that got 83,000 views 
and this is with a Pixel's thumbnail that was made in 30 seconds. I've seen creators go from average CTRs of 3 to 4% to higher than 12% after switching to Pixels. That's two to three times more views on every single video. Now that you've seen how Pixels works, let me show you how even complete beginners are using it successfully. Sarah had never created a thumbnail before, but within five minutes of signing up, she made this amazing thumbnail. And me, I went to Pixels to create hundreds of thumbnails by now, out of which you can see a few on the screen here. So let me tell you exactly how you can start using Pixels to transform your thumbnails and grow your channel. Pixels offers three different plans, Essential at $20 per month, Premium at $40 per month, and Ultimate at $80 per month. And if you pay yearly, you save about 30% with plans at $14, $28, and $56 per month. Just to put this in perspective, a single thumbnail from a decent designer would cost you $20 to $100. With Pixels, you're paying less than $1 per thumbnail, and you can create as many variations as you want until you find the perfect one. But I've arranged something special for viewers of this video. You can now try Pixels for just $1 for the first 30 days, allowing you to create 100 thumbnails. That's one cent per thumbnail you make, which is a no-brainer. Now let me be clear about who Pixels is perfect for. If you're a YouTube creator who wants more views, more subscribers and a more professional looking channel without spending hours on thumbnails or hundreds of dollars on designers, Pixels is made for you. It's especially valuable if you don't have top level design skills, post videos regularly, want to compete with bigger channels and value your time and want to focus on creating content, not thumbnails. Imagine your channel looking like this, professional, cohesive, with thumbnails that actually make people want to click. This isn't just about individual videos getting more views, it's about your entire channel looking more credible and trustworthy. And I'm not just gonna leave you with the tool, I'm also creating a complete AI thumbnail masterclass that will be available on my channel in the next two weeks. This free course will show you all my advanced strategies for maximizing your CTR using Pixels. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss it when it drops. Now, Pixels isn't for everyone. If you genuinely enjoy spending hours in Photoshop perfecting every single little thing of your thumbnails, or if you already have a very expensive designer on your team, you probably don't need this. But for everyone else who just wants great results without the hassle, this is a game changer. Click the link in the description, claim your limited $1 trial, and start creating thumbnails that actually get clicks. Your future viewers are waiting to find your content. Let's make sure they don't scroll past it. And remember, your next viral video is just one thumbnail away.